In this video we're going to be looking at adding textures to your images and to familiarise yourself with it I thought I would have fun with this one and if you remember or if you've ever seen the album covers from the 80s and especially from the New Romantics this might make sense to you so let's dive right in Okay, now that we're in Luminar, I'm just going to use the images that we have on screen just now and especially the portraits for this one because this is just a fun exercise, just as I say, to familiarise yourself with adding textures. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into Edit and straight away I'm in at the local masking and to add a texture to your image when you're in here you just click the Add button and in this case we're going to go for textures so if you think of textures as adding an overlay I'm not going to say a layer because it doesn't support layers I'm going, just going to use the word overlay for this so this texture that we are going to add we're going to have fun with these so straight away I'm going to click Load Texture and the first one I am going to jump into I'll just go for Frame 1 for this and click open. Now these textures that I've made for you that are available for download are in the 2 by 3 format so they work different on different images and if you want to have fun with them you're going to see what I'm going to do with them just now but basically this is just to familiarise yourself with adding textures in the local masking panel. So now that we've loaded the texture in what we can do is we can go into advanced settings and I'll just click that and it will say show we have different blending modes here and we have normal and I'm going to get through them all so that you can see what's happening with this image. Darken, multiply, colour burn, lighten, screen, so you get the idea of what's happening here. Overlay, soft light, hard light, difference happens to be my favourite when I think of the album covers from back then. Subtract, hue, colour and luminosity. So for me just now, I'm going to choose difference in this. And that's the effect we get. We can also adjust that effect. And ways that we can do that is I can take the brightness down, which amplifies the effect. If I push it up, it softens the effect. And you can see what happens there. So I'm going to take the brightness back. I can push the contrast. And again, that will change the hue within the colour squares that are there and I can pull it back and again it changes them so for this one I am just going to leave it in the centre just now I can then adjust the saturation so I can desaturate it totally or I can push the saturation so that it is really really vibrant or as vibrant as these colours will go I then have the option of adjusting the hue and if you see what's going on here you will notice the differences that this makes within it and I've set these up so that you do have different colours and they'll provide different effects for you if you want to have fun with them so you can see how all that can affect it so for now I'll just leave it at 180 for this for the hue the other thing that you can do is you can go back to the opacity and push the opacity up to 100% or pull it right back and it disappears. So I'm going to leave it at 100% just now. What you can also do as well is you can go into zoom and you can set this up to wherever you want within it. You will notice the lines that are appearing. As I say, these are just meant for fun. If you want to download them and have fun with the images, please do. Again, I can adjust the contrast, push these through here. I can turn the brightness up and that will release those lines, those fine lines that you saw. So we now have this effect with the image. So if I go to the before and after, before and after, you can see the difference that that makes to the image. And it is a fun thing to try with this. Take the brightness back down, these lines here appear. So I'm going to take the brightness back up. They are just created in Photoshop these templates so you can play around with them as well. So you get the idea of what you can do with these. You can adjust them and add anything to them. You can also apply a mask to them. As you can see right now, mask is set up for me to paint out areas. I'm not going to because I'm just going to show you something else with this. That one there I'm quite happy with for this demo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another one. And again, I'm going to add another texture. So that texture we've just added, this one here is down below. I'm then going to load in a second one and I'll just play with anything that's here at all. Let's go for that one. 
quick open. So now we have this and again we can get into the advanced settings and we can take the blending modes and just see what one's going to work best for this. I am going to leave it at lighten I think. Yep, I'm going to go with lighten for that. So we have that within there as well. Again, I can zoom it in and zoom it back out. It looks like a test card as well. So we can do that and leave it at that. Now this is just to show you how to use local masking and adding textures and it's meant to be a bit of fun for this as well. I'll show you in another image. I'll jump straight into this image here just to let you see the different frames that I've added for you if you want to download them. So I'm going to click add, add texture, load texture and I'm going to go for frame 3 for this one. So that drops in there. Again I can zoom it in zoom it out. It just depends what you want. So let's go for that there. Advanced settings. Scroll through these just to get the one that I quite like for this. I do favour difference for these just for the fun factor but let's see. Let's go for hue with this one. Uh, we can push the contrast. Bring the contrast back so that again adjusts everything there within the colours. Saturation can change it totally. I'll just leave it at zero but then again we can adjust the hue in here until perhaps you get an image that you're quite happy with. So hopefully you'll download these and just have fun with them. It can do different things as well and depends on what textures you add but I thought for this video I would make it a fun exercise for that. I can also flip them horizontally and we get that effect take that off and I can flip them vertically and we get that effect. So you can see how you can play around with these. Now there's many different textures that you can add. I've went for fun textures for these just to hopefully familiarise yourself with them. One thing that you can do that I mentioned earlier there was you can use masks with these as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get down to difference and I am going to play around with the hue here just to get something about there. Let's go for that for this. So I'm now going to draw the gradient in and I'm just going to bring it in from that side. So it'll affect some of the face there. The further I take it, the more it affects the face. Bring it back and if I can just get that there, I can drag that in, drag it over half over the face so that we have that effect with it and I'll just go up to templates to let you see how that looks. So you can have fun with these, you can use them in any image at all and you can use any of the textures that I've provided here and the textures would be even the light leaks as you saw in other videos. Wood texture, let's go for another as I said, I've set these up just to be fun. Uh, let's go for that one, open. So we have that effect. I can then go in, darken, multiply, darken, you get that. Multiply, colour burn, so on and so forth. It's a graphic designer's nightmare, but it may allow you to have fun. Hopefully you enjoyed that and hopefully it does let you see just how quickly you can add textures to your images. There'll be more videos on textures later on down the line. But I just thought for now I would let you see how you can have fun with some of these images. Feel free to help yourself to these textures, the download link will be below. Remember, stay safe, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.